BBC Radio Berkshire. Well, if you live in East Berkshire, you will have to pay to read some of your local news online. The Maidenhead advertiser, the Slough Express, Windsor Express, have introduced a pay-as-you-go system for its premium online articles. They are the first in the county to do it, so people in Reading and Newbury and the rest of Berkshire can continue reading their online news for free. But if you live the other side of the M4, you'll have to pay 20p per article for some stories. Bayless Media is the company that owns the three papers. Uh, Jeremy Spooner is their chief exec. Uh, hello to you there, Jeremy. Hello. Um, why did you decide to do this? Well, everyone would know that the uh, local press and the national press is, is challenged in these times financially. Um, we've come to the conclusion that high-quality journalism um, is not sustainable in terms of it being delivered free on the internet. Um, we believe strongly in high-quality journalism here at Bailey's Media, and instead of going chasing the internet pound by putting stories up which could be described as clickbait, um, we've been waiting for an opportunity to find a system which A-Gates are now providing that allows us to charge a fair price for high-quality journalism. Are you not worried that there's that sort of sense that it's important to keep journalism uh, open to all? Uh, that, that's a good point. Um, but traditionally, with the cover price of a newspaper, people have paid for that. Um, and we see this as uh, an extension of that. We are trying it um, or, or rolling it out on a, a, a very low-key basis start. We know it's going to be a, a slow build. Um, but I think it comes down to the fact if people want high-quality journalism, um, they are going to have to pay for that. Uh, going to the future, and I think that that view is endorsed by the latest Cane Cross review as well. Uh, and what difference do you think it will make for people who use the site? Obviously, they're going to have to pay for it, but uh, how is it actually physically going to work? So you can very, read a story. The APA gate solution is very easy to use, both for us as a publisher and for the user. Um, a a reader would go on uh, to the site, sign up to an A-Gate wallet. Um, deposit £3, and at the moment there is an offer going on that if they deposit £3, there'd be £3 added to that. Um, as they go across the site, they come across an article that is um, a, a pay-for article premium. Uh, they click on the article, and it will bring up the A-Gate uh, login. Um, once they've logged in, they don't have to log in each time, but they just click, and then a the micropayment's made. A bit like PayPal, one click and it's done. Is it sort of mini pilot as well? Will you make a decision a few months down the line, see how it's going? I'm, I'm personally very committed to this. I think that it is the future. I, it depends whether people are completely ready for it, but I think the time is right now in terms of the issues that we face um, that have been highlighted again in the Care Cross Review that we try. I think it's going to be a long burn, but it's one that Bayliss are committed to. And, the A-Gate solution is by far the best that we've seen in terms of moving through of making it easy for a customer to to buy an article mm. if they wish. I think it's really, sorry, I just want to point out as well, it's so much better than a subscription service because people are only paying for an article that they've chosen to read rather than have to pay for something that they might not want to. Well, is it just news articles or is it news and sport or any other type of news? You, news and sports, yeah. And, you know, and I think in terms of the news being free for all. I think it's probably only the BBC that's in a position to, to be able to do that. But that news is funded, obviously, through licence payers. So, it's uh, yeah, it's the way forward, I believe. Jeremy, thank you very much indeed. Good to speak to you. Get your thoughts on that. Uh, Chief Executive of Bailey's Media, uh, who own those three papers, uh, Maidenhead Advertiser, Slag Express and Windsor Express. Um, I imagine we're going to see this more in local news. Joy Jenkins is from the Reuters Institute, been looking at uh, this field across Europe, doing research on it. And uh, Joy, hello to you. Um, this is going to be something we're going to see more of, do you think? Um, I think so, yeah. So um, I did interviews last year in four countries, in Finland, France, and Germany and the UK, and found that with the exception of the UK, um, all the local and regional newspapers I visited had some form of paywall. Um, most of them had a freemium model where they charged for different types of premium content, or they had some kind of membership model where readers could access online things like solutions journalism in France. Um, whereas in the UK, um, it was still, you know, 
digital advertising focused um, approach, although there was some conversation about the potential um, for charging for premium content, in particular um, content that was very local and had some kind of value uh, that readers might not be able to access otherwise. Um, so this is definitely a growing trend in the local news market, um, but of course there's still a big question mark um, over the effectiveness just because um, in many of these markets, um, print revenues are still, the, the majority of revenues are still a major focus. Um, so it's still fairly experimental in some places. But po papers are being forced in this direction. It's not just about online and people just going to their computer to, to read the stories. But of course, there is social media, you know, Twitter. People often catch up with everything that's going on via Twitter, Facebook, etc. Exactly, yeah, and that's the big challenge is that there's so much competition um, for readers and for information um, in the online environment, and of course platforms like uh, Google and Facebook have created a very big challenger and competition uh, for those online advertising dollars, and so the shift to things like um, uh, paywalls and to even events um, and custom marketing services and other types of revenue opportunities are growing in the local media market, and the recognition of diversifying that business model model be, uh, beyond that traditional subscription or advertising focus um, is really, really important, is going to continue to be important in the future. We were talking to Jeremy there. You probably heard me chatting to him. Um, will there be papers like his uh, in the next 20 years or so? Um, yes, I think so. I think this is going to continue. Um, I'll be interested to see uh, whether we see more of this um, in the UK market in particular. Um, I talked with uh, some of the editors at, at Camp Messenger last year and that they said they were exploring the potential of maybe having a paywall model. Um, it's something we might see from some other, particularly some of the independent and smaller public, uh, publishers uh, to figure out what is that you know local high value content that readers might be able to pay for and could that potentially contribute to those digital revenues and so, um, so, yeah, I think this is a model we'll continue to see of uh, moving forward. And whether that transcends to some of the, the larger national publishers um, will still be a question. Joy, thank you very much indeed. Uh, Joy Jenkins there from the Reuters Institute doing research into uh, paying for local news in your local newspapers. Uh, it's coming up to 5.25 right now. Berkshire